Hi everyone, welcome back to the Dr. Sia channel. In the video here today, I'm going to talk about ghosting. I'm going to talk about the three different attachment styles, the avoidant attachment style, an ambivalent attachment style, and a disorganized attachment style. They have a lot of different names, so but I'm just going to call them avoidant, ambivalent, and disorganized, and why people from those three different attachment styles end up ghosting people. Let's get started. So people who have an avoidant attachment style ghost people primarily because they just don't want to deal with the fuss of being around when all of the difficulties happen around um, letting the person down, letting them know that they're not interested anymore, having to be there and deal with these all these emotional issues that happen when they have to let the person essentially down and let them know that, look, this isn't working. Another thing that happens for people who have an avoidant attachment style is that because they're not really willing to communicate their own feelings, they're not really willing to open up about their own feelings, about their own thoughts, about their own urges, and so on and so forth, because they might expect that their uh, these uh, uh, urges, thoughts, behaviors, emotions, that they're ugly somehow, or rejectable somehow, or flawed somehow, they can't really openly communicate about it, so they just prefer to sort of keep it inside, lock it inside, not let anybody know, and sort of just bounce. It's not working, I can't really explain what's going on inside of me, so, you know, out I go and disappear I do. So that sort of, I hope that gives you a really brief understanding of what goes on for people who have an avoidant attachment style and why they end up ghosting other people. So you might have been at the end of this, you might have been the person who's received this, and you might find yourself thinking, oh, all right, okay, yeah, that actually makes sense about my partner or my ex-partner or my ex-date and why they ended up ghosting me. And if you do, I hope, I hope, I hope you just let me know in the comments. So let's then get to ambivalent attachment and why they end up ghosting people. Now, of course, people with an ambivalent attachment end up ghosting people a lot less than people who are disorganized or avoidant because people who have an ambivalent attachment style primarily want to please other people. They want other people to be happy with them. They want other people to be um, okay with them in that sense. So a person with an ambivalent attachment style often is the person who's going to want to be your friend even though you break up. Like <laughs> they're going to want to be like, no, please, let's not let, you know, I don't want to let you down in that sense. But when people with an ambivalent attachment style do end up ghosting other people, it tends to be because they don't want to um, hurt the person even more. So they don't want to sort of be around as they hurt another person. They don't want to be the person who hurt another person. They don't want it to be their fault that they don't like you. They don't want it to be seen in the public eye that, oh, you're the one who, who didn't like them and now look how upset they are, look how what a wrong thing that you've done. So often people with an ambivalent attachment style will find themselves wanting to secretly date somebody and be able to secretly leave them, ghost them, without anyone ever knowing. And that's typically when people with an ambivalent attachment style do ghost people. It's when their relationships are kept secret or kept hidden. But when they're open and a lot of people know about it, then really it's quite very rare that they ghost anybody. Then we come to a disorganized attachment style. Now there, uh, there, there's really one big reason why they end up ghosting people and it's because they expect punishment. They expect that if they let the person know that they want to leave, that they don't want to be in that relationship or they, wanna, they don't want to date anymore, they expect the person to get violent, they expect the person to get highly critical, overly um, abusive, uh, emotionally abusive, verbally abusive. Because with people with a disorganized attachment style, they, they were never really safe in anything. When you have avoidant attachment style, you've learned that you're safe in avoidance. When you're ambivalent, you've learned that you're safe as long as you keep other people happy. But with a disorganized attachment style, you haven't learned what safety is. You don't know what it means to be safe. You have some ideas that maybe if I'm all alone, I'm safe, or maybe if I please somebody, I'm safe. But at the back of your mind, you're always expecting some severe punishment, severe attack against you sooner or later. So then what you do is you sort of end up ghosting people so that they can't come back at you, so that they can't sort of beat you up emotionally or physically as you're telling them that you want to leave them. So these are the three attachment styles and why they end up ghosting people. Now I'm talking about ghosting today uh, because uh, someone DM'd me on Insta and said, can you please talk about ghosting? I want to know why people ghost. 
If you're watching this, I hope you drop a comment because this video is for you and for anyone else who's also interested in ghosting and why it happens. Well, here it is. Here's an explanation from three different attachment styles. If you haven't watched my other video and why, on why you keep getting ghosted, watch that one too because that one is sort of links really well in with this one. It doesn't just explain why people are ghosters, but also how come people get ghosted. Anyway, enough about ghosts and ghouls. <laughs> enough about why people keep leaving each other and without telling each other. Of course, if you are finding yourself being a ghoster, if you're avoidant, if you're ambivalent, if you're disorganized and you find yourself ghosting people, you know, the best thing to do, take yourself to therapy, take yourself to intensive short-term dynamic psychotherapy, to ISTDP, have a chat to your therapist, let them know that that happens for you and start figuring out, you know, what are the aspects of you that make you a ghoster and maybe perhaps it's even that you keep dating people in a way who you're not really safe with and secure with and you feel like you have to ghost them. And that could also be the case. So take yourself to therapy, have a conversation, do some work around, uh, around that with your therapist. And, I, and I'm sure that you can then sort of stop that pattern for you and for other people around you because it's a really hurtful pattern. So, and that's something that you can do about, there's something about, I mean, it's not just hurtful to other people, it's hurtful to you too. So anyway, take yourself to therapy. Please drop a comment, please drop a like, please just subscribe, press that button. I'm out, I'll see you next time.